Hi everyone, welcome back to the Morgan Homestead. I'm Kevin. And I'm Sandy. And as promised, we're gonna give you a quick update um, on the cabin and show you everything that we've gotten done there. And um, we're also gonna do a quick pig update since we just got our pigs a week ago. So um, kind of a funny story. The second day that we got them, um, Kevin and I were in the cabin and we were working on a wall. And all of a sudden we look out the window and I'm like, pigs, the pigs are loose. And they had come running down this road behind us. You can see the um, shed back there. That's where they're at. And they ran down this road and they were looking in the um, cabin at us. And it was pretty funny. We were like, how are we going to catch these pigs? <laughs> but they actually both ran right back down the road because we have so much snow the banks are pretty high they can't really get through the snow they're so short and he ran right back into the shed and she kind of tried to go up on the snow bank and didn't she like roll off yeah <laughs> she rolled off and then she came running back this way and i was still walking up the road and she's coming right at me and we're kind of like doing this and she ran right past me came down walked around the house and then ended up going back there and we got her back in there so anyway all of that kind of made us realize that you know these pigs are bigger than we expected they were stronger than we expected we didn't we thought they were going to be a lot smaller and um so kevin went out the next day and bought all new supplies and redid the enclosure and so yeah i, I got some hog panels and and made some kind of freestanding fence posts that uh, I fastened to the ground because it's frozen you can't dig any holes around here but I was able to drive some spikes through those freestanding posts that I made and they're pretty secure yeah so they're all I'll show you their new um, setup now and then uh, we'll come back and I'll show you um, the whole inside of the not the whole inside of the cabin but what we've been up to so this is the new enclosure. Um, they have quite a bit of outside area that they can roam around in. Um, and then their house is uh, inside there. So they seem to really like it. it this is going to work great. Um, as spring comes, we will just take and move it forward. And we're going to just keep moving it forward when, as soon as we can um, in the thaw. And we'll just move it all the way forward and we'll just keep moving it out into pasture i mean they will eventually be i think on the other side over there of our pond we have like a pond area right there so we'll have them kind of on the other side of that i believe so they'll be out on pasture all summer we'll move them around we'll give them fresh pasture hopefully they won't root around but um i'm gonna go try to give them a treat so he went and got all these hog panels and um, built these brackets to brace them up and so they Their little house is still in there, but the doors open and we've got it kind of um, Barricaded in with hay to try to help keep them warm and So they've got this whole outdoor enclosure here. So um, the bad news is we don't have a gate yet and I can't I'm too short. I can't get up and over this gate, even though it's only like three feet tall. Um, so I'm gonna try getting in there, stepping on a ladder and stepping on that. I brought them some food scraps. I'm gonna try to give them today um, and go in there and see how they're doing. I haven't been out here in a week. It's been extremely cold and Kevin's been doing all the pig uh, work, but, um, and I've been busy inside working on stuff, so. I'm gonna go in and see if they'll come out. Something kind of interesting about pigs is, and I did not know this, they have a special area that they will set up as their bathroom. And they will go to the bathroom in that spot. Sort of almost like a litter box thing. So they're very clean and they won't go by their food or by their house, their bedding. They will pick a spot and go there. So I can see where they've been going. I'm gonna avoid that. Hi, how you doing? That looks pretty warm. So another thing we learned is straw is better for bedding than hay. So I think Kevin swapped it out. He was going to take all the hay out of their enclosure and put straw in there. I've had a couple people 
concerned that I might be getting too attached to them. They are feeders, not breeders, they're not pets. But I believe that while they're with us, they're going to live their best life. And they're going to be treated kindly and with love and given everything, good food. And, um, hi, honey. Hi, crispy bacon. Hi, crispy bacon. So, yeah, my daughter's friend named the boy. His first name is Chris. Middle initial is P. Last name is Bacon. So, crispy bacon. I better move out. She's not feeling comfortable with me being here, I guess. Hi, sweetie. And I was thinking of naming her Rose, obviously, of her color. And you're so pretty, aren't you? Oh, come on. I'm not going to hurt you. Mama's not going to hurt you. You can come out, sweetie. You can come out. You got to get in there. You don't want crispy bacon getting all the num-nums. I'll step back. I'll step back a little. But anyway... They're doing good, and I don't, maybe it's annoying when I talk in that silly baby voice to them, but I, they're my babies. They're the first pigs we've ever had, and we're super excited to have them here, aren't we? So to me, they're my, they're my babies for now. Oh, be nice, Crispy. Be nice. Hey, you got to share. I, I should have put some in one bowl and some in the other, but I didn't because there wasn't that much. I just bought them a little treat. There will be more nummies later, honey. Oh, you're going to be mad. You're going to get mad and go back in the house? So anyway, they seem to be doing very well. I think they're adapting. Um... Still a little afraid of us. They're getting better with Kevin. I haven't been out here as much, as I said, this week. So they're a little leery of me. Huh. You're a little leery of me. But I'm not going to hurt you. Nope. Oh, I know. I should have put some in there, huh? He's not being very nice, is he? Just going to have to get in there, Rose. You're going to have to just get in there. Oh, poor pumpkin. Okay, I'm done playing with pigs. I'm over in the house. And this is the kind of stuff you get to deal with in the winter time. When you get all the boxes of things that you're putting together and putting up in your house. So this is what I'm working on next is getting rid of all of this cardboard and boxes. So you can see my kitchen. I mean, it's a mess right now. So obviously not going to burn up the TV, but that's what I'm working on. Okay. I took care of all the cardboard. It's all burnt up. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you my kitchen. Okay. So all the cardboard is gone. As you can see, we have flooring in that part. It's a little dirty right now, but um, my cupboards are in. And the next to the refrigerator, I don't have doors on all of those because in the upper cabinet um, on the side of the refrigerator, our microwave is going to go there. And I'm probably going to put doors above that and on the side of that part. But down below on the bottom, those two shelves are coming out. And I'm going to get some vegetable baskets, some like wicker vegetable baskets that pull out. Somewhere to put my produce um, when I come in from the garden. And then on the left part there, I think I might do some baskets there too, just to break up the cabinetry. So as you come into the space, my refrigerator, I absolutely love it. Um, some friends of ours had the same one. I fell in love with it. so. I decided to get that um, cupboards above the refrigerator and then um, pardon the noise Kevin's working on the bathroom um, I have some glass front cabinets on either side of the sink to kind of break up the cabinetry again here's my beautiful island um, we'll have a 
couple of chairs there. Um, it's a quartz top. I absolutely love quartz. Um, my sister-in-law said I should have put a butcher block top on there, but I just really absolutely love quartz. And um, I love my island. It's got lots of storage. Got garbage, pull out garbage here, um, and recycling bin. The only appliance we don't have is our stove, so our stove is going to go straight ahead there, and then above it will be a hood, like a, a larger hood. Um, I don't know how to how to explain it, but it'll be the same color as the cabinets. So that's going to look nice. I'm not sure where I might put some shelving above the other cabinet over there. I haven't quite decided. Um, here's our lamp in above my island. Let me quick turn that on. There. So it's got bears on it. It's adorable. Um, so yeah, so this is, and my dishwasher is in. Let me show you my sink. So all of our accessories throughout the house are going to be like a bronze color, so we went with the bronze uh, sink. I absolutely love this pullout. It's easy to maneuver. Um, and then the sink itself is a bronze color. All of our hardware is in bronze. So, yeah, that theme kind of will go throughout the house. The bathrooms will have the bronze fixtures. I just fell in love with that when we went looking at it. So, so anyway, that is an update on the kitchen. Um, I absolutely love it. Uh, I'm excited to see it all pulled together. Uh, once we get all the accessories and everything in here, it's gonna look great. But I will show you, let's see. So it's hard when you're working on a, the interior of a house. I mean, all of this wood right here is for our walls. Um, Oh, I guess I can show you one other light fixture that we got. And I absolutely love this chandelier. It's a, obviously an antler chandelier in the front. Um, I'll turn the light on. So, there it is. Isn't that cute? Alright, so thanks for watching watching the update on the pigs and the cabin um also kevin has been busting his butt every day in there and there's a lot of stuff that obviously he's done that we haven't shown um all the electrical all the plumbing all that little detail work we're not filming all of that um but if anyone has any questions or wants to see more of that please just drop a, a note in the comment or email us um, or reach out and we will be happy to give you more information on that. I just didn't think it was interesting enough to show all those details. And um, so anyway, we're going to continue in, in the cabin and, and put up more walls and enclose and get the bathroom and the bedrooms all set up. We're going to be trying to move in real soon. So um, we're going to do another update probably in a week because things are happening a little a lot faster now inside um, so please help us out by um, sharing this on all your social media and um, dropping a comment and giving us a like if you like this um, and want to see more but thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time goodbye